Okay, I think I've seen a good one. Yeah, I've seen a good one already. You can see from this point here, from this point here, the market has been an uptrend. You can see it. the market has been an uptrend. You can see. It. So now looking at this consolidation here, now look at what happened. Look at the reaction of the market immediately this uh, gravestone doji was found. Look at the, the doji there. This doji, look at it. You can see the moment this doji, this gravestone doji was formed, look at the reaction. Look at how the market reacted. That's why I say you must find it on an uptrend. You must find it an, in an uptrend, okay? So it looks like an inverted T and it has uh, no body, but a longer upper uh, wick or shadow, okay? So now look at what's happening here. When the market opens, the bulls push the price all the way up here. When they put the price all the way up, resulting in this uh, long uh, week or shadow, the sellers, which are the best now, they fight strongly and eventually uh, pull the, the price down to this point. Okay, that is what's happened. So the longer the upper week, the longer this upper week, the more effective this uh this doji will be the more effective the the bearish uh, uh, signal okay so now how do you trade it when you when you spot this kind of doji candle in an uptrend wait for the next candle to close below uh the low of the gravestone doji so this is the low this one here so the next candle should close below it below this low here of this particular gravestone doji then you now place your stop loss above the high of the uh, gravestone doji. So your stop loss should be above here, somewhere here. Then your entry should be from this point when it started crossing. Or you could wait when this candle closes. Now look at it. I didn't mean, even though you enter from here, it's still a good trade. Let's measure the pips from that point, that point of entry. Now look at it from here. You can see about. 100 and the what? 150 something pips. So it's a good trade. Making 150 something pips. So already a billionaire. Okay, depending on, on the loss size you are using. Now, uh, like I said, the condition state that the next candle should close below the low of the words of the, the gravestone doji. That is the condition there. So the next one is uh, what is a shooting star. Just uh, shooting star. So let's look for a shooting star here. Let's look for a shooting star. Let's look for a shooting star. Let's look for a shooting star. Okay. Shooting star. And let me say this: shooting star. Uh, shooting star is an inverted hammer. Okay. So it's an inverted hammer. Um. In a in a bullish candles, we call it a hammer. When you come to bearings, we call it a shooting star or inverted hammer. Okay. Uh, at least what I was saying, like this particular one, now, this is the hammer in bullish. But when you talk about a shooting star, it's an inverted hammer that is inverted when you turn it on upside down, it becomes a shooting star. Let's see if we can get a good example here. Um, okay, look at this one. Yeah, this, this is a, a shooting star. This particular one here is a shooting star. You can see the moment, you know, the market is an uptrend from here. Okay. The moment the shooting star form at this consolidation, look at the reaction from the first form, which was this up, then started going down. But let's look for a, a good example. Let's look for a good example. Um, very good. Look at one here. This is a perfect example. Look at this inverted hammer shooting star. Now look at it here. You can imagine the moment it forms. Look at the the downpour. Look at how the market started going down. Okay, like I always say, before entering this particular tree, make sure the next candle closes. Below the high 
of the what the shooting star. Make sure it closes below the high of the shooting star. Okay. So uh then when it closes below it, you cannot open your short position. You go for a sell, not buy. If it is a hammer, you can go for buy. But since this one is a shooting star inverted hammer, then you go for what a sell. You go for sell position. Then placing your stop loss above the high of that shooting star. Okay. So now from that point, point of entry, which is this one. Let's make sure the pips see. Sorry, let me make sure the pips from the entry here. You can see. All right, and the something pips. So always look for opportunities in trading. That is what makes you a profitable trader. Wait for opportunities. Patient pays uh, the bills. Patient pays the bills. So you have to be patient as a forex trader. You have to be very, very patient. You have to learn how to be patient. Don't just jump into a trade. So the next one we're looking at is a uh, uh, bearish and golfing. Bearish and golfing. Bearish and golfing. Uh -huh. These are three white soldiers. And it must be a, it must be three candles following each other. Okay. And it works perfectly if you if you can spot it on the on the line trend. You can see let me draw this uh, trend line. You can see the market was creating lower lows already from this point. You can see it was moving down before this uh true white soldiers were from. You can see. The change of market immediately which was from. Now, what is the psychology behind this uh, three white soldiers? The first long candle, which is this one, the first long green candle. Okay, it shows that the buyers have sorry, the, the BS, which are the sellers, are exhausted afterwards. They prolong uh, downtrend after this downtrend, and uh, the buyers uh, take over. Okay, you can see this this particular candle. It closes above the previous highs, you can see. So this signifies that was there is a momentum which shows that what buyers are fully in charge. Now the bulls continue to rally with the uh, subsequent uh, those these two these two candles here. Okay, so how do you trade this? How do you trade this kind of true white soldiers? Or how do you trade this kind of pattern? Okay. Look first of all, more it must appear on a downtrend. Okay, look for it at the bottom of a downtrend. Then you wait for the fourth candle clo to close above the high of the third candle. Okay, these are our three white switches one, two, three. So if you want to trade this, if you want to use this uh chart pattern as your entry point, you must wait for this fourth candle to close this above. The third candle of these three white soldiers. You can see this one closes above it. This was this gives you a further confirmation. Okay. So that is is to give you a further confirmation that you will not be expecting a reversal. Now, once you spot this, when this lose above the third candle, look for a what a buy opportunity or what uh open a long position upon the closure of this uh, fourth candle. Then your stop loss should be placed below the low of the first green candle, which is this one. So if you are making use of this chart pattern, make sure you open your trade or you, open, you look for a buy setup or a buy opportunity at the closure of the fourth candle of the what three white soldiers. Then now place your stop loss below the first candle of the three white soldiers. Okay. You can see the moment this thing closes, you trace this back a little bit. Look at how it started going up. You can see. So let's say you enter this trade now, placing your stop loss above here. Okay. Let's see. Let, let's let's measure the pips. Let's say you you place a trade at the closure of this fourth candle. Let's measure the pips in profit. Okay. Let's measure the pips in profit. Okay, let's say you you close your market at this. Formation of this candle here. You can see how 300 and there. See 215 pips in profit. 215 pips. Well, this, this is good. Okay. 300 and what? 16 pips in profit. Okay. Let me use uh, 
this two here, long position two. Okay, let's say you place your trade here. Then your stop loss is below this uh this candle. Then your take profit is above or somewhere at this point. Somewhere at this point. Okay. Or you can still make use of the second candle as well. You can still make use of the second candle. You can see how we switch out of two is to four. That was five. Okay, but now you're standing. Is advisable you make use of what? The first candle as a stop loss. So that no matter how the market retraces, it's not going to kick you out before you go in your favor. Okay. So it's advisable you use the first candle as your stop loss. Then the fourth, the first candle as your stop loss, the fourth candle as your what entry point. And the fourth candle that is closing was close above the high of the third candle of what the three white soldiers. Okay. So the next one is the uh, morning star. So let's look for morning star in our chat. Let's look for morning star. Let's look for morning star if we can find any. Let's look for morning star if we can find any. Um Morning star. Let's look for it so we can find any. Okay, perfect. I've seen one already. I think this one we can make use of it. Let me expand it a little bit. Yeah, this is a morning star. Okay. How do you treat this kind of candle pattern? You can see. Okay, the first candle. How do you identify a, a, a morning star? Do you recognize it when you see it in the chart? The first candle has a long body. Okay. The first candle has a long and a red body. You can see. It has a long and red body. The second candle opens with a gap down. Okay. And has a tiny green body. Okay. It could be a green, it could be a green or red body uh, candle. Or let me say a red body. Okay, but it must happen uh, a gap down. Then the third candle, which is this, opens what? 50%. Okay, opens at 50%. Then it must what? Closes above the second candle, you can see. Do you understand? And this was the first candle, a long one, which is red, followed by either a shorter green or red candle. Then the third one was closes above the shorter one. Okay, so how do you trade this kind of uh, chart pattern, which is money star? So how do you trade it? When you spot it in this form, now you wait for the fourth candle. Okay, now this is one, two, three. The fourth one, okay, the fourth candle must close above the high of the third candle. This is the, this is the third candle, right? If the fourth one, which is this, must close this above the high. This is the high. Okay. This week, this little, this tiny week here is the high. So this fourth candle must close this above the high of the third candle to give you further confirmation that this is actually a morning star. Okay. Then open a long position at the closure of what the fourth candle, which is this. Then you now place your stop loss below the what? Now place your stop loss below the second candle, okay? Which is this. This is the second candle. This is one, two, three, four. Okay, let me come again. If you want to open this trade now, if you want, let me say I want to trade this chart pattern, right? I wait for the fourth candle to close this above the high of what? Above the high of the third candle, which is this, okay? It must close this above the high of the third candle. Once it closes, it's already giving me what a further confirmation that this is actually that this is uh, this money size is actually body. Okay, I'll now place my stop loss below the second candle of the morning star. Okay, these three candles form the morning star, right? Okay, the fourth candle must be above the third candle of the morning star. That is rule number one. Then, if you are placing your stop loss, your stop loss must be below the second candle of the morning star. Rule number two. 
Okay, you just imagine what happened. Let's assume you enter the trade from here. At the fourth can which is this. Let's make sure how many pips in profit. You can see this is the fourth candle, right? This is the fourth candle. Let's say you open this trade from here. How many pips? You can see two hundred and uh, two hundred and twenty-two pips. Can you imagine in profit. Okay. Let me use a long position to make sure the risk reward. Uh, okay, this is the fourth candle. Let's say I place my stop loss below the low of what? Of the second candle, which is this. Let's say I open from here. Let's say I place my stop loss below the low of this. Okay. Then Holding my position to this point is the highest before the retracement. Okay, you can see. Now, how many risk rewards? You can see we have about 4.5 risk rewards. So, if you are risking $100, you should be expecting a what $400 profit. Okay, or 450 profit. That is the essence of risk reward. You are risking, if you are risking 1%, if you are risking $100, you should be targeting times two of it or more than. If you are risking hundred dollars, it means you are targeting to have what two hundred dollars profit or more than two hundred dollars profit. So this is a good trade set of using money stuff. Okay, now the next uh the next thing now is our our bearish candles. Okay, we are we are done with our bullish candles. So let's go to the next in line. Uh, let's go to the next in line. Where is our list? Okay. So you can see it's, it's very good, it's very essential for you to be perfect in your chart patterns. It's one of the factors that can make you what a good uh, trader, a profitable one. So now this is our list already. So we are done with bullish candles. The last one which is money, so we should just discuss now. So let's look at the uh, bearish candles. Bearish candles. Bearish candles. So the first in line is a uh, uh, gravestone doji. Gravestone doji. Okay. Sorry. Gravestone doji. Gravestone doji. The second one is a uh, shooting star. The third one is a uh, bearish and engulfing, bearish engulfing, engulfing. The fourth one is a uh, twizzler top, twizzler top. The fifth one is three black cross. The sixth one is a uh, evening star. The last stick is one of the other evening star. Okay. So let's take it one of the other. So the first one is gravestone. So let's check our chart for gravestone. Engulfing. So I've seen the good one here. Uh and like like I said, the bearish and him, the red candle must be longer than the the bullish candle. Look at these two candles here. This one is longer than this. So this is the bearish and golfing candle. Okay, when you spot this kind of opportunity in an option, should be expecting a reversal. So inside of you should be looking for a, a sell opportunity, not a buy again, because that should signify the end of that particular trend. Okay, you can see the moment this bullish uh, bearish and golfy form. So you can see how the market is reacting, totally going down, totally going down. 
you can see to this point. Uh, you can see. You can see many pips from here when it was formed. You can see about what two hundred and something pips. You can see very massive. So this is how you you spot opportunities. Now, how do you trade this uh, uh bearish and graphing? Now, look for like I say, it must it must appear on an uptrend. It must appear in an uptrend. Now, wait for the next candle to close below the 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 bearish and graphing. You can see this candle closes below it. This is the, what the low of the bearish and graphing. It closes since it closes below it. You can enter for a trade here. It's either you enter here or you wait for the next candle to get further confirmations. But if you cannot wait, you can still enter here, then please make sure your stop loss is above that uh, bearish and graphing candle. Make sure that it's above that bearish and graphing candle. You can see. But if to, to, uh, to wait for a further confirmation, you can still wait for the next candle. But for me, I will, I will enter at the closure of the second candle. Once it closes above the low of this uh, bearish and graphing. Yeah, I can go for a sell. Then placing my stop loss above this uh, 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 engulfing candle here. Okay. So now you should always look forward a buy a sell opportunity whenever you spot a bearish engulfing. So the next one now is uh tweezer top. Tweezer top. That one is uh that one happened most of the time. So let's look for where we can see tweezer top. The tweezer top. Let's uh, go back. I think I saw it earlier. I think I saw it earlier. There is a, a green candle followed by a red candle. And uh, they both must have the same, uh, the same high. Uh, let's see. This uh, something, uh, no, this one is the highs are not the same. So let's go back. There is a place I saw it. Let's go back, back. There is a place I saw it earlier. Let's go back. There's a place I saw it. Okay, look at it here. You can see this is an example, a good example, perfect one of a tweezer top. Like I said, a green candle followed by a red candle. You can see this too, a green candle followed by a red candle. Okay, and both must have the same high. You can see the, the highs are the same, they are equal. So now, when you spot this kind of formation here, this candle now, this candle formation, or this candle pattern, what you should be expecting is what you should be you should be looking for a sell opportunity, because tweezer top happens in an uptrend. This is an uptrend, as you can see, it's an uptrend from this point. It's an uptrend. Now, when you spot it at this point, no so person should be buying, waiting for the price to reach this point before they can take their profit. That's why I say for you to be a profitable trader, you must be familiar with your candle. You should be understanding what the candles are telling you. If someone now will be expecting the price to reach it before taking profit, but along the line, he will choose his back, hitting the person out. Okay, that's why you have to be familiar with your candles. Now, looking at these two candles now, the green candle followed by the red candle, both having the same height. This should tell that this is what is a tweezer top candle. So now what should be expecting now is what a sell opportunity. You should be looking for a sell opportunity. And how do you spot your sell opportunity? If the next candle that is forming closes below the, the red candle, which is what the red candle of the tweezer top, you should be going for a what a sell. Okay, you should be going for a sell. You understand? So now uh, wait for the next candle to close before going for a sell. When the next candle closes below these two candles here, the, below the high of these two candles, you can see the candle closes below the high of these two candles. You can see, closes below the high of these two candles, then you should be expecting a sell. Okay. Now, what, let's assume now you, you sell from here. When, let's say you sell at the, the moment this candle closes, when this candle close, let's say you sell from here. You can see the massive move is still going down. Let me let me push the here yeah, like this. 
So just make sure the views from that entry point from here like this, you can see. You can see 200 and something pips gone. So this these candles are very powerful, especially if you find it in a, in a, in a higher time frame. You can see very massive, massive downfall. You can see. So the next one we are looking at is what uh three black rose, three black rose, three black rose. Uh, it must follow three black rose. Okay, let's let's see if we can get a good uh example here. Okay, guys, there are just three long candles, uh, three long, uh, three long red candles following, uh, following themselves. The second and the third candle opens within the body of the, of the, of the preceding ones. So it must close it lower than the what the the first two. Let's see if we can see a good example here. Let's see. Yeah, we can still make use of this. You can see, see this this looks like or uh, let's see if we can see a good example. Let's see if we can see a good example. Let's see if we can see a very perfect example. Um should we use should we use this one? I don't think no, let's look for a good one. Okay, perfect. I've seen a good one already. Now look at these three candles. Look at these three candles. Now these are three black uh, cross. Now you can see this one. This the, the first candle here. This is is longer than the the first one that form. Mm -hmm. The second one is longer than the other one that form. Those this is a good example of it. If this one is this one is bigger than this, this is bigger than this. Okay. So how do you uh, trade this kind of candle. Now, let, okay, let me explain it for that. Now, this first uh, candle here, see, that is, is, it signals that what the bulls, which are the buyers, they are getting exhausted already. Okay, because if you look at this, it's an uptrend, you can see. If you go to the lower time frame, you can see that it's an uptrend, it's a, it's a clear uptrend. But uh, in the higher time frame here, which is one hour, is a kind of uh, melting. But if, when you go to the lower time frame, you see the better picture. Now let's use this one now. Now how do you trade it? Now when you spot this uh, three black holes at the top of an option, wait for the fourth candle now, which is this. When you wait for the fourth candle to close this uh, below the third candle, when you spot it, wait for it to close it below the third candle, then open a short position. Okay. So I will use picture to, to show an example. Okay. So I'll look, let me look for a good picture to show example. Okay. Now, this uh, three black cross, it can appear in this form, this form or this form. Okay. The second and the, the third candle must opens or opens within the body of the previous one within the body of the words preceding one but closes uh, below it must close below the high of that first one this is what i'm trying to explain like the first candle opens the second candle must open within the body of this first candle and it must closes below the high okay it must closer lower than the words must close lower than this first one the second one must open within the body of the second one. It must close lower than the second one. You can see how it's going, how it's coming down in this one. And secondly, it must, this kind of candle pattern work perfectly if you see it in an uptrend. It's a reversal signal. You see this kind of pattern in an uptrend, it's a reversal signal. Okay. Uh, what, let's say, what is the psychology behind this now, these three black cross? When this first red candle shows, it signals that what the bulls, that is the buyers, are exhausted after the prolonged uh, uptrend. And the sellers or the bears start to take over. Okay. The bears, the sellers now continue the slump with the subsequent 
two candles closing lower. So this is giving you a further go ahead. Okay. This for, for further confirmations, you must wait for the two candles to form after the person to see that the, the, the sellers are truly in charge of the market. Now, how do we trade this kind of candle? These three black ones. How do we trade it? Now, when you, you must, like I say, you must spot it in an uptrend. Okay. When you spot this kind of opportunity in an uptrend, you have, you have to wait for the first the, the, the fourth candle now. This is one, two, three. The fourth candle is going to form. Let's say it's forming from somewhere here. You must wait for it to close below this uh this low of the third candle. Okay. It must close below the low of the third candles. The, the third candle to confirm the reversal that is actually reversing to a downtrend. Then once you once once that is confirmed, you open the words a short position upon the confirmation. Then place your stop loss above the high of the first red candle. Okay, that's to say you have to place your stop loss, or you can even place it above here. But it's advisable you place it at the top of the uh, first candle. Okay, to avoid the uh, being hitting that. It is very painful when your setup when you when you are being hit out from the from the trade and the the market play according to your setup. Okay, the next one here is um evening star. Evening star. Let's see if I can see evening star here. Let's see if I can see evening star here. Evening star here. No evening star. The first candle has a a longer. Uh, has a long and a going body. The first candle is long and going. Then the second one opens with a gap up and has a tiny green or red body. Let's see if we can see. Then the candle, you know, is of three candles. Three candles forms an evening star. So the third one opens with a gap down, loses uh, at least 50% or below the first candle. Let's see if we can see that. Uh, let's see if we can see that. Let's see if we can see that here. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, let, let's use picture. Let's use picture. Let's use picture. Let's use picture. Let's use the picture. Let's use a picture. Let's use a picture. Okay, let me let me use a picture here. Yeah. Um, the picture. Uh, yeah, this evening star. Okay. Is this is a sign of reversal? That's why this candle we are discussing is under uh bearish candles. So this is a reversal uh pattern. Now you can see the big bullish candle followed by a small body candle. Then big bearish candle. You see, you see how it's being formed, right? That's why I say the first candle has a long and gray body, which is this one. The first candle has what a longer it, it has a long and gray body. Then the second candle, which is this one, opens with a gap up. You can see the gap. You can see the gap between these two candles. A gap up, okay, and has a tiny green. It could be a green or it could be a red candle. It has a tiny and was it has a tiny uh uh with a gap of and has a tiny green or red body. Okay. Now the third candle, which is this one, which is the big bearish candle, opens with a gap down. You can see this is a gap up. Then this one now is a gap down. You can see this one, the second one was opening from here upward. Then this one now, oh, that's not, so this is gap up. Then this one has to be on gap down. Now it closes at least fifty percent or below of the first candle. Okay, so now, uh, how do we how do we trade? Or oh, let me say, uh, yeah, how do we trade it now? How do we trade this kind of market? This kind of sorry, this kind of uh, candle pattern. How do we trade it? How do we trade this kind of candle pattern? When you spot this kind of uh pattern in an uptrend. Okay, first of all, like I said, it must appear in an uptrend. 
wait for the fourth candle. This is one, two, three. I always say, wait for the fourth candle. Okay, to get further confirmation, don't just just don't, don't just jump into the trade because you find this in an uptrend, and is a is an evening star. So you you jump into the trade. You have to wait for further confirmation before placing your trade. You can see that's why I say okay, wait for the fourth candle to close below the low of the third candle. This is the low, below the low of the uh third candle to confirm the existence of the words the bearish uh, fox. They have to open, once that is being confirmed, then you open a short position upon confirmation and place a stop loss above the high of the second candle. Okay, so your stop loss has to be somewhere here. Okay, you have to be somewhere here. Or you can also place your stop loss above the current and break out these two lows here. Okay, I think that's all uh, about... Uh, let me go to my list. Yeah, this is the last one, Evening Stars. So thank you guys for having me here. So if you are new to this channel, can please subscribe. See you next in my uh my next video. Thank you.